Sugar, 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 the sweetest thing. Sugar is one of the most common and essential substances for life. However, if we take the entire history of mankind, chemically refined and highly purified sugar appeared in the human diet relatively recently. And in the short time, refined sugar has already appeared in about 75% of packaged foods. Today, I will talk about the types of sugar, its effects on our bodies, recommended daily intake, and also about top sources of added sugar. Daily intake. The FDA defines sugar as a safe product. I can't help but remember the words of the famous Dr. Paracelsus. Poison isn't everything and nothing is without poison. The dosage makes it either a poison or a remedy. Or simply, the dose makes the poison. The American Heart Association recommends that adult females consume less than 6 teaspoons, about 25 grams, and that adult males consume less than 9 teaspoons, about 38 grams of added sugar daily. However, in fact, Americans consume 3 to 6 times the recommended amount of sugar. The amount of actually consumed sugar in Russia exceeds the recommended standards by about four times. In the UK, National Health Service recommends the following doses of sugar daily. Adults should have no more than 30 grams of free sugars a day. Children aged 7 to 10 should have no more than 24 grams of free sugars a day. Children aged 4 to 6 should have no more than 19 grams of free sugars a day. There is no guideline limit for children under the age of 4, but it's recommended they avoid sugar-sweetened drinks and food with sugar added to it. In both adults and children, WHO recommends reducing the intake of free sugars to less than 10% of total energy intake and a further reduction of the sugar intake to below 5%. This equals a maximum of 50 grams of sugar per day or 10 teaspoons for the average adult. Types of sugar. Let's try to make sense of all the variety of sugars in the world today. There are simple sugars, monosaccharides, and complex sugars, disaccharides. Monosaccharides are the simplest form of sugar. They include glucose, fructose, and galactose. Glucose is the most common sugar in the world and is found in many dietary carbohydrates. Glucose mainly comes from food, but is also synthesized from other metabolites in the body's cells to produce energy. Glucose is an essential source of energy for all organisms, from bacteria to humans. Fructose is a type of sugar that is found in fruits, honey, and some root vegetables. Fructose is the sweetest of all naturally occurring sugars. Galactose is a monosaccharide found in dairy products, avocados, sugar beets, natural gums, and mucilages. Galactose is about as sweet as glucose. Disaccharides or double sugars are molecules made of two monosaccharides, more often a combination of a glucose molecule with another monosaccharide. Maltose is a malt component, a substance obtained by softening grains in water and germinating. It's also present in partially hydrolyzed starch products such as maltodextrin, corn syrup and acid-thinned starch. Sucrose consists of glucose and fructose. Sucrose is usually produced from sugar cane or sugar beets. Table sugar, granulated sugar and regular sugar refer to sucrose. Lactose is made up of glucose and galactose. Lactose is the sugar naturally found in milk and dairy products. The name comes from lac, lactis, the Latin word for milk, plus the suffix os used to name sugars. Some people have a reduced ability to digest lactose. This condition is called lactose intolerance. Have you ever noticed bloating, diarrhea, or abdominal discomfort after consuming milk or dairy products? Talk to your doctor. Maybe Maybe you are lactose intolerant. And write in the comments below if you are interested in a detailed analysis of milk and its effects on our bodies.
Longer chains of monosaccharides, more than two, are not regarded as sugars and are called oligosaccharides or polysaccharides. Oligosaccharides are a component of fiber from plant tissue, usually containing from three to ten monosaccharides in the composition. Oligosaccharides are represented by glycans, which perform important functions in body cells. Polysaccharides or polycarbohydrates are the most common carbohydrates found in food. They react with with water using the enzyme amylase to form the constituent sugars monosaccharides or oligosaccharides. Examples include storage polysaccharides such as starch, glycogen and galactogen, and structural polysaccharides such as cellulose and chitin. Another classification of sugars divides them into white sugars, brown sugars and liquid sugars. White sugars include crystalline sugar or regular or white granulated sugar, fine crystalline with crystal sizes up to 0.5 mm and coarse crystalline with crystal sizes from 2 mm. Granulated sugar is the most common sugar used most often in recipes for cooking and baking. Lump sugar – individual pieces obtained by pressing crystal sugar. It can be completely dissolved in a drink or eaten instead of dessert along with tea or coffee as my dad used to do. Powdered sugar obtained by grinding white sugar crystals to a size not exceeding 0.2 mm. It is often used in icing, confections and whipping cream. According to the Russian specification, that's all. But I will add a few more types of white sugar. Superfine sugar, also known as castor or bar sugar, has the smallest crystal size of white granulated sugars. It is used in making mousses and puddings. Fruit sugar is smaller and more uniform in crystal size than regular sugar. It is used in gelatin and pudding desserts or powdered drinks. Baker's special sugar. The crystal size of this sugar is finer than that of fruit sugar. It is used for sugaring donuts, cookies and some cakes. Brown sugars are either made by directly boiling a brown sugar syrup or mixing white sugar with various amounts of molasses. They include light and dark brown sugars. Brown sugar contains more moisture than white sugar, which is used in some baking recipes. Turbinado sugar is a partially processed sugar which retains more of the natural present molasses. It is sometimes called demerara sugar or raw cane sugar. Muscovado sugar, also known as Barbados sugar, is an unrefined cane sugar in which the molasses has not been removed. Free-flowing brown sugar, also known as granulated brown sugar, is less moist than regular brown sugar. And finally, liquid sugar, which is a white granulated sugar dissolved in water, and invert sugar presented by a mixture of equal amounts of glucose and fructose. Top sources of added sugar. Here comes a very interesting part of the video. Top sources of added sugar. You all know and love this product, so let's go. According to the National Diet and Nutrition Survey, the main sources of added sugar in the British diet are following. Sugar preserves and confectionery. These products include table sugar, gems, chocolate and sweets, 57.1 grams and more of total sugar per 100 grams. This is 114% of the WHO's daily sugar intake. Non-alcoholic drinks, for example, soft drinks and fruit juice contain about 10 to 11 grams of total sugar per 100 milliliters. A standard bottle of cola contains 35 grams of sugar. This is 70% of the WHO recommendation for daily sugar intake. Biscuits, buns and cakes, delicious but very dangerous snacks that are high in sugar and fat, such as iced cakes, chocolate-coated biscuits and frosted corn flakes. Alcoholic drinks. Some people are unaware of the sugar content of alcohol. However, alcohol contains more calories than carbohydrates or protein. Are you aware that the standard glass of wine can contain as many calories as a piece of chocolate? Write in the comments below. 
Dairy products. Dairy products, in addition to lactose or milk sugar, also contain added sugar. This include yogurts, dairy-based desserts, and ice cream. The sugar content can be up to 20 grams per 100 grams of product. Savory food. Sugar is also found in surprisingly large amounts in many salty foods such as sauces, ketchup, salad cream, ready meals, pickles, chutneys, and chips. Tomato ketchup leads the pack, followed by sweet and sour sauce and salad cream. I would add packaged foods to this list, and the amount of added sugar in them is terrifying. Added sugar ingredients and non-nutritive sweetener ingredients were found in 61-69% of the sample of packaged foods examined in Australia. A study of more than 18,000 foods in Hong Kong found that nearly two-thirds of pre-packaged foods contained at least one free sugar ingredient. Now get up, go to your kitchen, open your fridge and kitchen cabinets and count the amount of food I just listed. Do you want a new life? Do you want to look young and fresh? Do you want to lose weight, get rid of depression and bloated belly? Or aren't you arguing enough and want to know what excess sugar in your body leads to? Okay, now I'll tell you about the effects of sugar on our bodies. Effects on our body. Sugar can be highly addictive. Sugar and sweets can be more attractive and rewarding to our brains than a strong addictive drug like cocaine. I'm always amazed at moms of three-year-olds. My child only eats candy. Do you mean a three-year-old goes to the store and buys his own candy? Or maybe he orders it himself from the internet. Don't lie to yourself at least. Okay, you ask me, so what's a big deal about a couple of candies every day? Let's look at the effects of sugar on our bodies. The incidence of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis has doubled since 1980 with the rise in consumption of refined sugar. Chronic ingestion of high-dose sugar has been linked to obesity, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, some cancers, Alzheimer's disease and cellular aging. What do most of these diseases have in common? Inflammation. Yes, low-grade inflammation can play a key role in the development of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, dementia and depression. Sugar increases the level of the inflammatory marker C-reactive protein. Sugar promotes the synthesis of free fatty acids in the liver. According to the lipotoxicity theory, free fatty acids metabolites may trigger inflammatory processes and reactive oxygen species formation. Increased production of rose leads to oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is an important component of many serious diseases such as atherosclerosis, hypertension, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, infertility, and is also a component of chronic fatigue syndrome and the aging process. Now let's look at the effect of sugar on the development of such a disease as gout. The occurrence of gout is associated with excess production of uric acid. A diet rich in sucrose raises insulin levels. Insulin prevents the excretion of uric acid from the body. The concentration of uric acid in the body increases, including in the joint fluid. Uric acid begins to precipitate into crystals. As a result, gout develops. Sugar can have a powerful effect on our behavior and mood. Several studies have linked high sugar consumption and development of common mental disorders and depression. There are several explanations for this connection. Firstly, high-fat, high-sugar diets can lead to atrophy of a part of the brain called hippocampus. The hippocampus is the structure of the limbic system of the brain responsible for memory and emotions. It is also one of the few structures capable of producing new neurons. This is called neurogenesis. Sugar decreases levels of the brain-derived neurotrophic factor, and this could cause hippocampal atrophy in depression. Second, high carbohydrate intake has been associated with an increase in circulating inflammatory markers, which I mentioned earlier. They can depress mood and also lead to inflammation. Third, high carbohydrate diets can cause spikes in blood glucose and insulin levels and thus affect hormone levels. This in turn affects mood. Fourth, 
addiction-like effects of sugar have an effect on dopamine metabolism. Dopamine is a hormone and neurotransmitter responsible for the formation of feelings of love, anticipation of pleasure, as well as affecting cognitive function, responsiveness, memory, attention, learning, etc. Impaired dopamine metabolism is associated with psychological pathologies such as schizophrenia and Parkinsonism, as well as obsessive compulsive disorder. Finally, diseases caused by high sugar intake such as obesity and metabolic syndrome adversely affect mood and self-esteem. Sugar promotes skin aging. It stitches collagen fibers together, making them incapable of repair. Glucose and fructose link the amino acids present in the collagen and elastin that support the dermis, producing advanced glycation end products. Now you know what effects sugar has on our bodies, you know your daily sugar intake, you also know which foods contain the most sugar. Your health is in your hands. Take action now. Get up and throw away any added sugar foods and don't buy them anymore. Do it now if you really want to take care of your body and mind. Mwah.